Hi, my name is Clifford Andrews and I'd like to talk a little bit about the quantum shiatsu system developed by Pauline Sasaki. We're going to look at the contribution that Pauline Sasaki made to shiatsu theory and practice from the early 80s to around 2010. We're going to take a historical look at the development of her work and Pauline really developed the theory of shiatsu and its practice consistently through her life. She was never really happy to let things lie and she was always looking at different ways that we can develop our understanding of the work. Her work evolved coherently from Masnaga's work, particularly in the early and middle periods where her project was really to complete the Zen Shiatsu system. Her two main influences were Masanaga and Kishi. Masanaga developed the Zen Shiatsu system during the 70s and Pauline had a unique insight into this because she helped translate the book Zen Shiatsu and she was also involved working directly with Masanaga in the very important seminars that he gave in New York in the late 70s. After Pauline had travelled to Japan and graduated with Masanaga, she went on to apprentice with Akinobu Kishi. Kishi helped her refine her experiences of the finer aspects of energy work and it was these two influences, Kishi and Masanaga, that combined into developing Pauline's quantum shiatsu system. I've identified three periods of development in Pauline's work. The early period, which I've called the post masnaga period, really extended from the mid, mid to late 70s through to the mid 90s. During this time, Pauline was trying to systematise and complete Masnaga's Zen Shiatsu system. In the middle period, which was from about the mid 90s around, till around 2007, Pauline made a series of discoveries about energy work which took her work from an understanding of the meridians being in the body to an understanding of working with a wider energetic field. And in the late period, that was between 2007 and her death in 2010, during this period she was working with even more expanded awareness of life itself. One of the things that Pauline emphasised throughout her development of shiatsu and energy work was the integration of four essential components. The overriding philosophy, in other words, why are we doing what we're doing? This philosophy then reflected down onto the three components of the technique, which consisted of diagnosis, or assessing the energy, treating, that's working with the energy, and theory, understanding what and why we're doing. In fact, Pauline always emphasised it's how we do things, not what we do. Most of her work involved internally transforming shiatsu theory and practice from the inside by changing our own awareness and use of our own energy so that we can contact our receiver in different ways. Her main emphasis wasn't on developing the external aspects of the technique. So looking at the early period from around the late 70s, early 80s to 1995, we saw several refinements of Zen Shiatsu. One of them was the functions of the meridians. Masanaga explained the meridians in terms of the meridian expressions. The meridian expressions were a unique kinesthetic experience of the meridian that we can feel in our whole bodies. Pauline used this as a way of experiencing the meridians at a cellular or in a holographic way as vibrations or qualities in the whole body and then out into the energetic field. Pauline worked with the Hara palpation developing a faster and lighter version based very much on the experiences she had working with Kishi. She developed the idea of the composite this was putting the two functions of the meridians together 
in the diagnosis and using them as a way of explaining what was happening with the person that we were working on and also as a way of using our focus to work with the function of the meridians in the treatment. During this period she also started to describe the meridians on four different levels. That's the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual levels. And this was a clear development of Masanaga's work. In Zen Shiatsu, Masanaga documented the physical and the emotional level of the meridians. Here we have a flip chart paper that Pauline has drawn and it shows the importance of the spinal alignment and the mindset in setting up our own internal energy. And this was one very important central development during the middle period between the mid 90s and around 2007. The spinal alignment was central to these developments and during this period Pauline moved the centre of our awareness from the Hara into a wider experience of the whole central column. The relaxation into the hips and the sacrum provided the grounding and the lifting of the head top allowed the expansion or the feeling of connection with the, with the heavens. So we had the grounding and the connection with the heavens incorporated into the spinal alignment. During this period she also developed the idea of expansion and contraction which was to go on to become an overarching idea. The idea being is that we can balance the expansion and the contractive aspects of the techniques, of any technique, in order to allow us to gain a greater access into the information within the meridians and the energetic field. And also during this time she was beginning to understand and experience the meridians as part of the wider energetic field of the body. Part of this working with the energy directly involved the development of mindset which is the use of intention and modelling which is creating a resonance within our own fields that we can use as part of the treatment process. Here's another flip chart picture which would show which shows Pauline's development around the end of the middle and the beginning of the late period. Now you can see what she's done is she's defined the meridians as part of the light body and this links us into the late period ideas that Pauline worked with. What she did here was she started to go beyond the ether body or the auric field and into what's sometimes called the source or the grid. During this time, this was the latter part of her life between 2000 and 2010, she started with a variety of different teachers. These led her to explore the chakras and to develop her own system of integrating the chakras in with the Shiatsu work. She also redefined the meridians as part of the light body. She went further out from the etheric field or the ether body and experienced the light body and the chakras as part of a wider grid that supports or underlies all manifestations. And she also got into direct techniques that can influence DNA and also work with soul development work. So, in conclusion, Pauline's life project started out as a development of Masnaga's work. She went through three main periods of development, a post masnaga period, a period where she worked more into the energetic field and a final period where she went beyond the energetic field. She consistently developed the philosophy, diagnosis, treatment and theory of Shiatsu through those three stages. And she's given us a lasting worldwide legacy of development of Shiatsu theory and practice. Thank you.